Hi George, this is Scott from Showmark and we're doing a test wind with the very fine wire that you sent to us from your customer. Um, you can see it, uh, th we're doing this on one of our unispooler uh, fine wire respoolers and this one <clears throat> is a little unusual. It's uh, first of all has a smaller footprint uh, and in addition you can see up above it has two payoff uh, shafts and the purpose is that the first of all you only use one at a time uh, but the reason that there are two is you can see in the back they each have an electronic brake and the one on top is smaller for a much lower tension applications which uh, obviously that is what your requirement is and so you can see uh, that's the wire you sent on on the top there and it's being routed down around our encoder based length tracker. It's tracking with uh, you know, very high resolution. Uh, past a wire brake sensor in the center around that bottom guide wheel and then up onto our traverser. And you can see here the result. I don't know if you can see it, so fine, but we'll continue to wind and when we have some more layers you'll see it. But uh, so far, it's doing a, uh, a pretty good job. Uh, so looking at uh, the controls, you can see here on the right, there's a length tracker. And that can be set up for either uh, feet or meters. Uh, and the number on the lower line is a length target. So you can set the desired length, and the machine will stop automatically at that length. You can see uh, this is a switch for turning the wire brake function off and on. It's actually off right now. I didn't try to uh, sense that wire. It was so fine. To, but uh, we, we will do a test and it may work. And then you can see controls for adjusting the tension on each of the payoff shafts. Um, and obviously we have a very low setting for this wire right now. On the traversing unit, uh, you may be familiar with it, but just in case, I want to point out that here we can adjust the, uh, the winding pitch onto the new spool. And these two knobs adjust the turnaround points of the traverse to match the flange positions of the spool that you're winding onto. So, so far so good at this speed. I'm going to try and speed it up. This machine will go up to 800 RPM. See if we can get it going faster. Take my chances and live a little dangerously. So you can see there, a much faster rate. So we'll let it run for a while and we'll come back and check how it's doing. Okay, we're back for an intermediate check. And you can see it's continued winding without a problem. We're up to 19,750 feet. And there's the, the new wind so far. And we'll continue. We'll wind the whole thing. That's the goal. I know that. Okay, just in for another quick update. Uh, still running fine. And we're at uh, about 6,800 uh, feet. Another quick update. We're at... 12,000, 30, 40, 12, feet. <laughs> you can see, still looking good. I 
believe that will unravel just as well as the original. Still running and doing well. We're at 34,500 feet and it's getting late here. I'm going to um, leave for the night and I just wanted to make a quick uh, update because I'm going to try and turn it off for the night. Hopefully I won't uh, do something that causes a break. Uh, either stopping it for the night or starting again in the morning. So uh, we've gotten this far with no problems. <clears throat> I assume if it were not interrupted by me, it would make it to the end, no problem. But I'm making this update just in case. Hi, George. It is Scott with one last update on the winding. Uh, things were working really well and i don't know what happened but we had a break and i'm surprised because the machine was working flawlessly uh, is it possible that there was a snag on the payoff spool uh, we got that far here is the new spool that we wound and to be honest uh, the counter uh, rolled over in other words, there was, it reached 100,000 feet and then just uh, gave that message and then continued to whine, but I just don't know how far over 100,000 that it went. But I really think that uh, it is able to do a good job and I guess it possibly broke the wire, but also I'm wondering is it possible that there was a, a snag or a crossover on the original spool? But uh, that's it. Uh, hopefully it uh, looks interesting to you. And uh, please contact us with any questions.